providers were always thinking about screening for alcoholics or al alcohol dependence. Alcohol dependence is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to alcohol and alcohol-related harm. Alcoholics represent about 4% of the population of drinkers, and majority of uh, patients with respect to alcohol or drinking um, fall into two categories, risky drinking or abstinence or minimal drinking. So risky drinking is actually drinking that results in harm to yourself or harm to others. There's two forms of harm. One is a short-term form of harm, one is long-term. Short-term, so I take a drink, I have another drink, and maybe I have a third drink. I get into a car and drive, or I have unprotected sex, or I get into an argument. So these are all short-term harm. Long-term harm from alcohol, there's an increased risk for certain cancers, especially of the pharynx and esophagus. Certainly to the liver, there's liver cirrhosis, uh, liver cancers, um, as well as an associated hypertension. So risky drinking, uh, as defined uh, by many different organizations, is three or more drinks on any one occasion for females, seven or more drinks in a week for females. Binge drinking is uh, consuming four or more drinks over a two-hour period and that can occur at any time frame over the last three months. One of the most difficult things in screening for alcohol use in women who see obstetrician gynecologists, midwives, nurse practitioners, family medicine, having the providers understand that we're not looking for alcoholics, we're looking for risky drinking. That risky drinking that can potentially lead to fetal alcohol spectrum disorders or FS. FASD, which then in turn leads to an alcohol-affected pregnancy and a, a newborn that's harmed. So we're trying to prevent that harm for women by reducing risky drinking.